for a super stretch, what you're gonna do is you're gonna need a pillow, yoga block, anything like that uh, to support your head. From here, we're gonna lie on one side and this bottom arm is gonna be the arm that's working. I like to bring my hips up to a 90 degree angle just for support, keeping everything nice and tight. From here, you're gonna take your top hand and put it on the bicep of the bottom. This is gonna be your working arm. From here, I take that top hand elbow, put it on my uh, bottom hand, and then I take my top hand and I physically take my humerus, my bicep, and I try to rotate it down into internal rotation until I feel a stretch in my shoulder capsule. From here, what you can do to dictate uh, more or less stretch, if you're looking for more stretch, you can roll forward a little bit, feeling, finding a more stretch in that capsule. You can also bring your elbow up a little bit higher. So find that position for yourself. So for stretch, we don't want to dig into a ton of stretch in through here because we don't really want to find out how cranky that shoulder can be. This is a really intricate position. So once you find this position here, get a little bit of shoulder protraction as well. So that scap is going to be rolled forward just a hair, finding the stretch. We're going to sit in this position for two to three minutes, and then we're going to get into some pales rails work. Pales, what you're going to do is you're going to try to press your arm out of that stretch, but we're going to use our top hand to stop that motion, keeping the exercise isometric. So we're going to be pressing up into that arm, that top arm, and then rails, what you're going to do is you're going to try to lift off and try to rotate that bicep forward down towards the ground again. Okay, so pales, you're pressing up, rails, you're pressing down. This top arm is not allowing any motion in that pales.